Hey guys, I uh, <laughs> this isn't gonna sound very good, but <laughs> I was just playing around with my balls upstairs, and <laughs> um, I came across this uh, super cool shape. Um, originally, just because uh, somebody asked in a comment, could have been message to make them a can you remember tetrahedron or something, and. Uh, well, I didn't have enough balls to do it, so in the making, I ended up just remaking my pentagonal ball that I have a video of, and um, uh, I thought, well, what if I pushed in or inverse the uh, circles? And this is what it looks like, and it's a pretty cool shape. It's very solid, very sturdy structure, which is good, and um, I think it's the closest thing to a uh, dodecahedron or whatever the hell it's called but I think that's the closest thing to it for now I'm just gonna call it an inverse pentagonal ball because that's what it is um, and I'll show you how to make that right now um, first step is to get your balls into a string as usual um, you will not use like this is the best I could do with uh, a regular set uh, so it's a 216 set, and you use a little less than 216 balls. This is what, how many you have left over. So not very many, uh, which is perfect. Um, what you're going to do is just make a standard pentagon. You're going to make, uh, I believe it's 12 of them. Yeah, it's 12. Uh, what you're going to do is just fold it into a circle of 5. And then just wrap the uh, string of balls around uh, the five balls once, like this. And uh, when you're done that, you'll have a, just a regular pentagon that looks like this. See, this ball's took a beating. I, just about uh, the one year anniversary for these bucky balls that I got. Uh, now you, I'm not going to pause the video or fast forward or anything, so it'll be real time, so you don't have to pause it either. Um, go ahead and make 12 of these right now. Um, I'll make one more so you guys can see, just in case you didn't get that first one. So you make a circle of five and just wrap the string around it once like that and then it'll look like this and you're gonna make 12 of those um, yeah as you can see some of my buckyballs have been taking a taking a beating uh, so I went ahead like I said in my diamond videos I actually purchased a set of Zen magnets and uh, apparently they're better than buckyballs they're the leading brands and I have buckyballs and they did alright for me they're starting to I wouldn't say lose their magnetism but they do feel a little weaker but that's just because the skin on some of them is starting to come off some are completely bald but that's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, so I got my Zen magnets in the mail. They should be in the mail any day now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be the judge on which one's better because when you watch um, uh, when you watch a uh, versus video I guess a comparison between Bucky Balls and Zen Magnets uh, it's always whoever wins say Zen Magnets wins it's because the guy who's making the video owns Zen Magnets and not Bucky Balls or likes Zen Magnets better and not Bucky Balls so it's not that it's better whichever one it's just the guy who's using it I prefer Bucky Balls but I can't say anything because I've never used Zen Magnets, so 
I went out and bought some Zen magnets, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see which ones are better. Apparently, they're stronger magnets, and uh, the second I get my Zen mag magnets in the mail, I will be doing an unboxing video just to just so I, you can see my reaction on how good they are, or how bad, or average, I guess. But here's our 12 pentagons that we made. Uh, you can go ahead and put them aside and I'll just be working with two right now. You don't have to put them aside but I will. Uh, here's my two. Uh, what you're gonna do is normally to make the pentagonal ball not inverse uh, you just attach them like this and you just keep adding Oops, you just add one, add one, add one, add one, add one until you get a ball. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bend it backwards so these will oh, so these will be the outside of the regular ball will be inside this ball. Uh, it is a little tricky to put this together. You got to be really careful. What you don't want to do is you want it just like that. You don't want these to touch, or the ball will not work properly, and you will, after a certain part, uh, it'll get really strong magnet hold. So it'll be really strong and sturdy, and then they'll start pulling away from each other. See, if I tried to pull these off right now, it's easy. But after I get a few on, it'll start ripping apart my pentagons and stuff. So what I try to do is don't let these touch to the whole thing. Uh, it might be hard, but just make sure. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take another one, and you make sure it's flipped. And uh, you don't want them to push away like that. See how they're pushing away right there? You want to flip it so they grab nicely. Three on three. That's what you want. And see, uh, see how this one is pointing out and these ones are pointing in? If that happens, what you do is just take it off. Don't flip it because if you flip it, it won't connect properly. And you can just push the bottom up. And then it'll, the outside balls will be the same, so it'll still grab properly. And all you did was flip the uh, inside five from the outside to the inside. And you don't want to start making a ball like this, so you're going to fold it inwards instead. Like that. That's what it'll look like when you have three connected. And uh, this is the setup stage, so you can keep just attaching them. It's easiest if you go round and round and round. Say if I put one here, and then put another one here, and then one here, and try to bend it, you're gonna screw up. So it's easier if you just put it in the V shapes. So if I put one here, one here, one here, and then the next one, and then you're done. So, so these are pushing away. So I'm gonna have to poke the bottom up. And they're still pushing away for some reason. So I'll flip it and they grab nicely and that's not so I'll push the bottom through and see I got these to touch I don't want that so I'll pull it apart and try to keep that through the whole thing so just keep going round and round so here 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 and here and keep adding them make sure on both of them so right here and right here, that uh, it touches both. You don't want it just touching one. You need it to bend, so it's touching three on three. So you need these uh, five balls to be touching these six balls. But you don't want the insides to touch. So as we keep going around, they keep pushing away on me. So I'm gonna flip it. Push the bottom through and screw up, apparently. There we go. So when we're done half, that's what it'll look like. It'll look kind of weird and crappy right now. You're not you're not done. So don't think you screwed up and give up. See the insides you're gonna be trying to touch, but once you have the whole thing made, it'll go a lot better. Just make sure that they're all touching. 
in the cracks. Make sure it's three on three, three on three, three balls on three the entire way. And nothing else is touching except those. And I'm going to flip it this way, and I'm going to keep going around. So here, 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 and here. It's kind of weird when you have to bend it inward, but that's what you had to do. So you're trying to touch again, so you can pull those off. So I'm going to touch the three, on the three, and you can see we're all, we're starting to form our shape, so it's almost done. And keep going around and around, so here, here, here. You don't want to try putting one here, one here, one here, because it just, it all falls the wrong way, and it's not what you want. I screwed up a couple times doing that, so... So now we only got two left. These ones are easy. So you can see it's already minus the top. It's already pretty pretty strong uh, structure. So we're gonna put our last two in, and we're just gonna make sure that everything around this one is touching, and it's not touching on the inside. So then the next hole, all you have to do is drop the next pentagon in, and then you're done. And you gotta make sure everything's touching nicely, which it is, kind of. Yes. Come on. Don't screw up now. Pull that out. See, that's what happens when your insides touch. It won't go together right. So, have to kind of pull that off. There we go. And done. Now, you just want to go around and make sure that each individual of the 12 pentagons is. Uh, touching all the balls around it, so just lightly pinch together and make sure everything's attached properly. Nothing's touching on the inside, you'll know. And uh, it looks like this when it's done. It's a pretty cool shape. And like I said, it's, uh, it's very strong. So it doesn't break. No, like it's, it's, it feels heavy, heavier than even when I use 216 balls to make the drop ball, this actually feels sturdier and heavier, a lot better, and it looks a lot cooler. So, uh, with the leftover balls, what you can do is I haven't even tried it yet, but you have this many leftovers from a 216 set. Uh, what I think you can do is somehow maybe make another pentagon. Um, I'll quickly make one and see how it works. So yeah, I'll make another pentagon like this. And I'll make it double sided. So I'll make I'll actually make two pentagons. You don't have to do this. I don't even know if it'll work. I'm just I think it will. So there I made two pentagons and I'll make sure they touch and I'll do that. I'll put them together like so. And then I'll take the bottom of my drop ball, or not my drop ball, my ball I just made, and I'll just drop it in there like that. Actually, I'm going to take this one off. Drop it in there like that. You can make it bigger. So the rest left over the 216 you have. Just keep wrapping it around the stand you just made. And uh, you'll have six left over, and you'll probably just put them in here. So I'll take this off. Yeah, you can put them right in there. I don't know how, but just like that. And then you can just take the bottom of this thing, put it in any of the holes, 
Well, not any of them, but one that fits, I guess. That just worked. I don't know what the hell I did. Hmm. They're pushing away now. There we go. And like that, and then you can make a little stand. If even though the thing stands up alone by itself, anyways, but whatever. But yeah, that's how you make the. I'll call it the pentagonal ball inverse of the pentagonal ball, and that's how you make that. Um, like I said, I think it's the closest thing to a dodecahedron, is what I think it's called, and uh, like it's strong. See, very strong. Yeah.